Howdy folks, this little beauty here is an iFly 2 axis gimbal for GoPro 3 from Gearbest. Purchase links are in the description. Now I have tested a 3 axis gimbal uh, from Gearbest before, but this one's a little bit different in that the there's no yaw stabilization, which is kind of good for my purposes because it means I can direct the camera around. I don't have a quad, this is designed to go on a quad of course. So this will stabilize in the roll and the tilt direction. What we also get in the box is a spare pair of the, the little, little anti-vibration balls, um, a manual on a mini CD, which is useless to me, but you can get download the manual online anyway. So it's very, very simple. Um, it has a JST plug of the wrong gender for my purposes. So I've made up another lead to uh, enable a battery to be plugged in there so we just plug it in and you'll see the camera gets stabilized there we go lovely stabilized GoPro 3 you also are able to control the tilt angle uh, if you can get a, a PPM input into there I haven't worked out how to do that yet with my equipment but as soon as I do I'll show you how to do it I think that is meant to plug into the iFly quad or something like that all right let's see what we can do with it you can download a, a configuration program for the control board in there uh, I've tried it with clean flight and I couldn't get it to connect to clean flight so uh, it's obviously proprietary for this uh, flight board I've made up this little uh, handheld gimbal holder so I can now have a stabilized GoPro gimbal handheld setup uh, for sort of stable footage and this one I can direct it around uh, more precisely than the, the um, three axis gimbal so that is pretty cool and what I'm also going to do is pop it on the nose of my Skywalker here and get some nice stabilized aerial footage so now plugging it in I'll be recording, get the GoPro recording, yep that's recording now, plug in the battery and it stabilizes itself so now I can get some nice fluid footage around my little studio A little bit of a bump there. Goes wiggy if you go beyond the limits. Of course, they all do that. But it's got a fair bit of range, probably more range than the um, three axis gimbal. It's going to go well on the plane. 